we on, and we popping, and I lie. No, we not. Yeah, we back. It's 16 years, a disease went from uncurable to just at the gas station. You can, I mean, you can get that shit. I mean, think about it though. In real life, that type of shit happens. For y'all who don't know what we talking about, Goku was finna die from heart disease. And Trunks gave this man a sip of some medicine and, and, and cured that man. Cured him. You gotta take three, four, five NyQuils <laughs> to get rid of a cold. But it took one sip of the juice. But it's Capsule Corp, bro. You gotta remember, nigga, Capsule Corp was the, the shit. These type, these niggas who transported cars and meals. These niggas still need to go talk to a <laughs> flying cat to get sensu beans. <laughs> Why they can't make sensu beans? Well, get them hoes natural. Them bitches cure broken bones. Like, I don't know how they do it. Listen, <laughs> we didn't come here. Oh, this is what we really came here to talk about. Batman whooping anybody with them hands. Did I say that already? No, you didn't. Anybody with them hands, Batman whooping them easy. It's a sweep. Four to zero. Uh, all of that. Goku. Nah, nah. not Goku. Yamcha, though. Nah. Sure. Even Tien, honestly. Even Tien. He's whooping Tien, bro. He's whooping Tien. He's, whooping Tien. Tien. He's, He's gonna punch his ass nah, right bro. in that third eye. Tien got hands, bro. And, T and Tien ain't gonna see it coming. Bro, Tien got hands, bro. We're talking about Batman. We're talking about Tien. What, what the fuck, bro? Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Bro, I'm gonna start laughing. If you said we talk about T, <laughs> bro, T got hands, bro. This nigga got hands. Bro. I ain't never heard nobody say, bro. We talk about T, bro. What? Who? Bro, you talk about the nigga who got blown up by the little green thing. <laughs> Bro, when it comes to comparing him to Batman, you talking about the nigga who be watching all the fights, bro? Who like sacrifice himself? Ba Batman would be doing the same thing if he was in Dragon Ball Z, fool. He would no, not he be not. in the front lines with Goku. Batman wouldn't be hanging out with them. Yes, Batman wouldn't be hanging out with them. He works alone. Him. He can't even fly. Man, he wouldn't even fly in a helicopter. He wouldn't even be able to get the commies fucking lookout because he can't fly. <laughs> so how does Batman go to the lookout? Go to the watchtower? They have to beam his ass up there or some shit. So he get there. Nigga, he ain't, he ain't fucking with the Justice League. So he had to find his own way. Why is he the king of the Justice League? He's not the king of the Justice League. He one of the captains? He, of course he is, bro. But, I mean, He's I, the I, founder. He, they all fucking captains to me, nigga, to be honest. Because Martian Manhunter in real life the call his nigga in the Justice League. Listen, Stay Up TV, episode, I think this is like 9 out of 10. We back. It's your boy Sticks. I'm with Cam. And it's just me, him, and Kevin today. We ain't got no fact checker. We ain't got nobody throwing in their two cents. Ain't no, ain't no women in here. <laughs> it's just us yeah. and Yoshi. <sighs> and Cam is ridiculous as usual. <laughs> First of all, Goku is the strongest man on Dragon Ball Z. I'm not even. We ain't even discussing that. You can say he ain't whooping nobody right now, but he gonna whoop him in the future. Number one. Number two, the Eagles suck, bro. You need to stop cheering for them. <laughs> bro, they're not even getting whooped by the Wait, let me, finish, let me finish telling you my, my problems I have with you. The Eagles suck. You need to stop cheering for them. You only listen to Chance the Rapper all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you don't listen to nothing else but Chance the Rapper. That is cap. This nigga listens to Chance the Rapper 24-7. And I don't care if it's true or not. It's true now. It is not true. What else I hate about you? That's all. First of all, I don't listen to Chance the Rapper every day. Honestly, I probably listen to that nigga if I was to put it percentage-wise. 5% of the music that I listen to. That is a lot of percent. No, it's not, bro. Okay, let, me have, let me have 5% of everything you got right now. What do you mean? Then they have five percent of all your shit. They don't have shit, so I can't give you five percent of shit. You got What's some clothes on your back, so you got one, two, three, four, five items of clothes. Nigga, give me your shoes. <laughs> this not even five percent. My shoe bases. I didn't know. Look, I did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Like, my shoes Give me like, your shoes. Like, almost 25% of what I got over there. That would, that would, that would be about 25%. Like, you know. Okay, so imagine going home with, out your shoelaces, bro. I mean, it, it would be tough. Then she'd kick that nigga head off his shoulders. Damn, I ain't never seen no shit like that. But this is, this is not an anime podcast. As much as you try to make it one. That shit was clean, though. We can make it one, though. But I gotta watch all the anime. I've never seen them. We, we don't want to make one. Because you ain't never seen nothing. But you do need to go watch Hunter 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 and you do need to go watch Did you want to say Hunter Hunter Hunter? Hunter Hunter nigga. You said it three times. No, I didn't. Like Gucci. You do need to go watch Hunter Hunter though, for sure. And if I watch that shit and it's ass, guess what? It's short, but it's not ass, I promise you. It's not ass, bro. That hell's going on, I swear. Like. Alright, so listen. <laughs> Did you know that I'm half French? That you have French? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm half French, half Mexican. So, 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 so you trying to say you Creole, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you trying to say? Tell me, Creole, Do nigga? French and Mexican make Creole? No, nigga. I thought it was French and Black that made Creole. Nigga. I mean, you the one. I said half French, half Mexican. You said Creole, nigga. I mean, I'm just talking about the whole French part. I'm half French. I'm half. What do they call us in London, Kevin? Niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> they sure probably do. Anyway, I'm half that too. Just got back from London. Saw the Texans. The Texans suck, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was cheering for them that day, but that's because I was drinking um, um, some type of fucking beer that they was serving. Ale. Yeah, ale. I was drinking ale like this is the medieval times. I mean, he was in London, bro, so. Yeah, they still drink ale, you know, and yeah, man, big London boy. Also went to Paris, went to the Eiffel Tower. I was a little underwhelmed. I think I should have went at night because they got them lights down at yeah, night. You got to see it glow. Yeah, we yeah. ain't see it glow. We went in the middle of the day. It, it was just it's yeah. rusty looking yeah, and shit. It's it definitely not pretty in the middle of the day. But at the same time, it was still cool, though. I mean, Because it's, it's big and it's like. Yeah. It's still, you know, because. You do get starstruck by us. Wow. Yeah, it's like, wow, like, you see it on all the movies. But that's the problem, though. Yeah. At the same time, because... That is the problem. You get you there, go there expecting something, and get, it's kind of just there. That's different, and you're like, wow, it's yeah, back it's in the without seeing another movie. Yeah, it, it's like, just there. Ain't nobody hanging from it, fighting. Like, yeah. Is there a restaurant <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, but you got to RSVP the month in advance to eat in that house. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When I was there, the fucking elevator was broke, so we didn't even get to go inside. Of the crazy part was driving on the other side of the road, bro. Yeah, down that road. Yeah. I, and not even that, like, walking across the street, you got to look back the other way. You got to look right first, and then <laughs> look left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, I never get that right. Just watching cars drive, it looked like they could have run into each other. Oh, me. Yeah, bro. That, that was in the catacombs? Huh? The catacombs? What the fuck is that? The fucking underground graveyard that's in the street, under the streets of Paris? No, why in the hell would we go there? Kiddo? Shit, because it's actually pretty interesting in that. No, we went to the Eiffel Tower and then we went back to the airport. <laughs> Nigga, when I, when I was at one of the catacombs, figure, basically it's all the fucking victims of the French Renaissance. You know what I'm saying? Remember they, the, the, the guillotine cutting niggas' heads off and shit? Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of bones underneath Paris. Remember you ever seen that movie, As Above, So Below? Say that again? As Above, So Below? As Above, So Below? Yeah, it's a scary movie. No, no. It's, it's, it's about them catacombs, nigga, and it's fucking underground, nigga. Like, when you go down there, like, it's a stairwell that's, like, this spiral, and it's tight. Like, it's real. Like, you walking down them with the like, like squints in that hole. It's real, real tight. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's real, real deep below the ground, and, and it's, it's bones. It's just skeletons everywhere. And they just leave them there. Well, it's like, it's a mass grave. You know what I'm saying? And it stretches for my, like, it's parts that you can't go into. You know what I'm saying? And it's, a, it's curious parts, and but then it's like little back areas. Like, you can see it. Like, when you're when you down, it's like, it's like little gateways that lead to who knows where that you, you can't see. You see, I wish you'd have told me that when I said I was going to Paris. I didn't know you were going to Paris. I could have sworn I, I told you we was going to Paris. You told me you were in London. I didn't know you were in Paris. I could have like, sworn I said we was going to both. I did not find out you was in Paris until I seen the picture on Instagram next to which y'all niggas next to that. I had the tower. I was like, that nigga went to Paris too? Yeah, I did go to Paris. I did not know that. Like, 
You didn't, you didn't say anything about that. I ate some, I ate some crepes. Oh, we just said I was killing the bitches when I was over there. I, I did not fuck. I didn't. I didn't even know what they was. I, lied, I, I, didn't, I didn't have no crepes. I was fucking the hoes up. I don't even know why I lied. I had a burger. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and the burger was. Like when I came bro, back, why they? Why I say listen? All I want, I don't want nothing but cheese on my burger. They bring me back a burger with nothing on it, no cheese. Who eats a burger with no cheese, bro? It's, it's mm. French people. And did, Kevin, did we have a little dude who walked French and everything, bro? <laughs> Look, our waiter even walked French, bro. I don't even oh, know how to explain it. French, he had the yeah. French mustache yeah. and everything. French he was French. mad French, bro. <laughs> Born even, and raised France, bro. Even the black people over there, bro, like, they don't even identify as, like, African French. They, they French. French. <laughs> like, only us. We the only ones. Yeah, we the only ones that identify. I mean, you know, as a black people, you know, we don't. I'm African American. No, I saw something on Twitter today. It was like a uh, Afri- a black man uh, went to the government and, and like showed them proof that like he was here before them. Yeah. And they took his land and they gave him his land back. Like made the people move off his land and gave him shit back. What? But I still think he had to pay for it. But if we can prove that we was here first. See, they don't even tell you that we was here already. It was some niggas already here. Well, you don't even know that, though. Yeah, that you yeah, let them tell it. Well, nobody here, Christopher Columbus just pulled up and found a whole country, bro. With no niggas. No, no niggas. niggas at the zone. Like, bro, y'all ain't gonna believe this, nigga. We found a whole huge country, bro. Nobody has Think about all that's a part of, of, of North America. You got Alaska. Canada, Canada, the only continent in the United States, Mexico, Mexico, and all of South America. America. And ain't nobody out there. They y'all didn't see none of this shit. We didn't see not one person. And you mean tell me, Christopher Columbus, you put your little flag down and you think you're running the whole thing now? That is crazy, bro. That that, that how we just colonized somebody else's shit. You know what I'm saying? And we living on that shit like. <laughs> Like, we still here. We still we got we run this shit. Nah, we, we are like, still here, bro. I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. And the crazy thing I was telling my girl about this the other day too. The crazy thing is the fucking redskins, bro. I never really paid attention to how yeah, that's how much of a slap in the face that that's blatantly is. racist. Like because first of all, it's the it's the it's the capital. The Washington Redskins is the capital of the United States, bro. Like that's like a slap in the face. Cam, a slap in the face <laughs> is us like learning about. George Washington in school and shit like that. Like these niggas were mad racist. Yeah, yeah. And they just teach us like we're supposed to respect these niggas. I mean, bro. Let's think of Christopher Columbus. Like learning about that nigga and the fact that we don't have to go to school for his holiday, bro. This nigga was a demon, bro. Like I, I think we'd be at school on MLK Day. They just be no, like, no, 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 I'm no, gonna say, no, that's no, one of them holidays that they just be like, it's MLK Day at school. No, no, but MLK Day, who's going to go to school today? But we don't go to school for Christopher Columbus Day. And that's. What other days don't we go to school? Labor Day? Well, nowadays they don't go to school for shit. My little brother and them are out of school for a week every month. For what? Nothing. And they still get spring break. And they get a fall break. What the hell is spring break even? It's just some shit. This is a free week out of school. But they are out of school a week for every, every, a week for every Monday in school. They, they get a free week out of school. Bro, uh, a couple years ago, Summer Creek, when the hurricane happened. Yeah, I'm king with kids. Right there. My little yeah, they was going to school half the day. My, yeah, my little brother would get out of school at 2 o'clock. Like, I'm going to back then. Boy, like, that's nuts, bro. I can't imagine getting out of school that early. Yeah, we've been wild. It's really bad. Well. I ain't gonna even tell y'all. I probably wasn't even still at school by the end of the day. Most days, we've been in dip and scabber. Listen, forget that. You got Disney Plus? I do got it, and I I, I fuck with it, but I feel like it, we probably ain't bored with it because you've seen all this shit. Like, all of it. You've seen. You know what I feel like, bro? I think they really hit our ass over the head seven dollars for Netflix kids. I'm just scrolling through, and I'm just like, this is just. Kids shows. Like, did you know Disney actually owns Hulu? Yes, I did they know sell that. It together. <laughs> yes, I know. I, Disney owns crazy. almost everything, bro. Like, and that's what I was telling my girl, bro. Like, there's a lot of parent companies that will create 
the illusion of competition, but like there's really one nigga that own a bunch of the same shit. But no, Netflix, Netflix, Netflix <laughs> is not owned by Disney, and it's beef. I mean, I believe that, but Disney it's Plus and Hulu are two to us. If you don't know that that Disney on Hulu, you would think that's two totally different motherfuckers competing for subscribers when you just subscribe to the same shit. Yeah, but it's same, it is it is, it is competition, but I guess it's kind of like just splitting your money in two different rep in two different lanes, and it's still getting the same amount of money because you gonna look no doubt Disney Plus is gonna Hulu finna lose some money, Netflix finna lose some money, but Hulu well, Netflix it was really, their money any like they getting that money anyway, yeah, so they like Hulu, it's technically ain't finna lose no money because they Netflix just, finna lose some money though, Netflix, but, but that's why Netflix just partnered with Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon and they got and the they Spongebob, they, they, I mean the Squidward yeah. spinoff coming out. Then they got Dragon Ball Z getting on that. They got Dragon Ball Z. So Netflix trying to tear up. Netflix see yeah. what it is. What it is is these damn kids want to watch everything from the mid-2000s, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about the mid-2000s, but they want to bring all of that back, bro. And Disney dug in their 1990s to the mid-2000s bag and gave it all I mean, to us the, for for $7. Seven dollars so people going to eat that up until they realize that's only 50 episodes of Lizzie McGuire, brother. So you, you, yeah, I mean, and they but 23 the minutes. The thing they got me for the, 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 the Disney Plus is the Marvel shit that they got in there. Man, like they got we the, saw you know, these movies, bro. bro. They, got the, they got the old school X Men, bro. Okay, okay, got, that's cool. I watched Gar. I was watching Gargoyles. Gar 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 go crazy. They got the X Men go crazy. But at the, the end of the day, like but at the end of the day, Marvel animation is not that good, bro. Compared to Man, DC that, Amazing Spider Man, go hard as a bitch. I don't know. What I didn't even see Amazing Man. Spider Man. I that saw shit, Ultimate Spider Man. That, that shit go hard too. Man, no way. All Spider Mans don't go hard, bro. Just because it's Spider Man, bro. Fiend, bro, that's my nigga. So, bro, I would whoop Spider Man stupid ass. ass what? You, you don't think I would whoop Spider Man? No. Peter Parker is a goon. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. We're not even finna talk. We're not even finna get into the web, bro. Cause you sleep. Can I will weave this shit out the web, bro? We talk about this nigga whoop the Hulk. You know what I want to talk about? In what? In a fight? In a book? <laughs> or a YouTube video? Which one? Both, nigga. Man, back. Batman whooping both of them. No, no. There's a video on YouTube that perfectly disproved that. Dude, Spider -Man. who made it? How many views? Millions. Bullshit. Bullshit. Pull it up right now. Pull it up right now. And while you pull it up right now, I'm going to tell everybody how Miles Garrett tried to knock this nigga head off, bro. Clean, smooth off with a helmet. Imagine somebody taking your helmet off and hitting you in the head with it, bro. That's ultimate level disrespect. That's like, I'm going to take your lunch money, but I'm going to buy you something. 24 million views. Don't just find the number one video in the world. And, and, and It's Batman vs. Spider-Man. What you mean? I told you. And well, how did it go down? It, they, bro, screw attack, bro. They break down the weapon, armor, and skills of any said character and pick them in a death match. So it's kind of like, basically kind of like okay. Deadliest Warrior? Yes. Okay. But, with comic books but that shit used to be false. You know that? They used to just make stuff up, bro. But this shit is facts because it's all written down, nigga. So they, they just... But they even, yeah, it's, you can't prove that, bro. But you can simulate it the best way you can, bro. You like, can sit... Bro, simulate that Batman is going to outthink Peter Parker 10 times out of 10. No. How, he, Peter Parker's a genius, too, bro. No, he's a book smart. He's a nerd. He's not a genius. That nigga is a genius, bro. Man, he's an idiot. Bro, first, an idiot. Bro, I'm talking about when it comes to, like... He's a fucking, he's goofy as shit. Peter, Bruce Wayne is, <laughs> he's focused. Yeah. Peter Parker is scatterbrained. He be thinking about all, he be playing and shit. Peter Parker has to do trigonometry on the fly just to swing through the city, bro. Like, Bruce like, Wayne watched his parents get killed in front of him. And, nigga, that doesn't prove intelligence, nigga. Oh, I, thought we, just, I thought we were just naming shit that they had to go through. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, bro. Spider-Man is cold. Where do you think you sleep? Bro, like Spider-Man is not. Blank, blank gunfire, bro. Like, what are you talking about, bro? He cold, bro. I bet he can't die as a haymaker from Bruce. Nah, I bet you he can. You think you could? Nah. Nah. That's Bruce Wayne, bro. Okay. I'm, this I'm not Peter. You in the you in the bed with Shorty, right? I'm too with Bruce Wayne. Wherever you're going with that, he getting shot. Bruce I'm not Wayne. fighting. Bruce Wayne busting the room. I'm not fighting. 
Well, you ain't got that, but you ain't got that thing on. You ain't got it on you. Know, I was never gonna have to fight. You ain't got it on you. But I probably will die fighting like Bruce Wayne. Bro. So, but you, you admit Bruce Wayne will kill your ass in a hand to hand combat. You're bro, both human. This nigga bitch. Just, just um, answer the question, sir. Yes, bro. He's Bruce Wayne, bro. Sir, he'll yeah. whoop Captain America hand to hand. Sir, hand. simple yes or no wants to find you. Yes, bro. Yes, damn. Bruce Wayne comes in. He'll kill you in hand to hand combat. Two grown men. He's gonna kill you. He's not even gonna beat you up. He's gonna kill you. So that's how that's how cold he is, and you admit that, right? Yes. But Peter Parker will also kill you. But Peter Parker, fire. this little fifteen year old little boy that can climb on walls and is supposed throw to throw cars. Is supposed to whoop this man. He can throw a car, bro. P uh, Bruce Wayne can uh, not throw a car. Bruce Wayne not throw a car. Bruce Wayne can latch onto this up here. And Spider Man can't even faster than you with more efficiency. This is what I'm saying. The car, he missed the car though. You forgetting that? Well, I'm dodging something. But he's coming right. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> you saw, you look bro, like, uh, what are you talking? You look like Snoopy. <laughs> when Snoopy be going crazy. Bro, Spider Man will whoop that man. It's right here. Poop is right here in the pudding, bro. Bro, like, this man is saying the YouTube video is proof. About it's proof enough for me. Kevin. Because when, when they pitted Superman versus Goku, I had to accept the facts. I thought Goku was gonna whoop Superman. I'm gonna give you a stat. Batman will, will. Batman is Miles Garrett. Spider Man is Mason Rudolph. And that is 100% false. Because Spider Man is is multiple times stronger than Batman, bro. So simply right right there, bro. He wouldn't yeah, be able to take punishment. They say Batman. they say that they say that though. But have you ever watched Bruce Wayne fight? Have you ever watched Spider Man fight? That nigga pulls some punches, bro. And nigga pulls his punches. If he really wanted to, he would kill motherfuckers if he fought him. Like, Spider Man is strong enough to throw a car. I bet he can't beat up Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga be biting, bro. That nigga be biting. Spider Man be biting. He's a spider. He don't be biting, bro. Why don't he? What type of spider don't no bite? He has no venom. Why don't we go bite niggas for it? He, he do got venom. It's a whole movie about venom. That ain't him, nigga. That's a nigga named Venom. I used to think it was him. Me no, too. he. Oh, uh, uh, one of the movies, it was him. It wasn't him. It was him with the same shit that Venom made out of him. On his Venom. Side. He had literally Venom. Bro, he's not Venom. He wasn't. He was not. No. Bro, what do you mean? You, you try to hate it. He was literally Venom. He was Spider-Man during the day, Venom at night. Look at us. That nigga was him. He was him the whole time. He was never Venom. Because Venom is a whole different nigga. But he, Venom was him. He just had some shit on his... He had a, a shit stain on his suit, bro. And it turned into a coffee. Yeah, nigga, you turn into a bad guy. So I keep trying to, I keep trying to bring up this Miles Garrett topic no, the best way I can. It's fucked up, bro. Because I feel like it's an unspoken rule on the football field that you just never do. Wait, wait, wait! Like pause, pause. You jumped into that too fast. What you mean? Explain what happened first. I mean, everybody saw what happened, bro. They, uh, uh, Rudolph tackled Miles Garrett, and Miles Garrett tackled him, mm -hmm. and Rudolph tried to take Miles Garrett helmet off first, and didn't work so well for that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he came back in my career with the he's kind a, of he's a, he's a wigger. He's a, yeah, for the wigger, the wigger, the white guy. You know what I'm saying? He came back in Miles Garrett. He was tripping though. Like I don't know what he thought he was gonna do to Miles Garrett, but Miles Garrett took that man helmet off and hit him with it. Did they get in trouble for that shit? Oh, Miles Garrett suspended until they feel like letting him play again. <laughs> like no bullshit, they suspended him indefinitely. Yeah, that's literally what it is. Like, like suspended, nigga. We suspended until we figure out like, how long you finna be suspended. Like, uh, <laughs> six inches until I say stop. No bullshit. That's like, that boy in trouble. And Mason Rudolph, I ain't even, I don't even think, that, that, what happened to him? Nothing. Nothing. That's all I heard of. But I'm saying, think, okay. I don't even think Mike Pouncey got in trouble. The descendant who was kicking, uh, Miles nah, Garrett so, shit. I think he did get in trouble, bro. Because he was kicking that nigga. Well, but, seriously. can you blame him? I mean, I know. I would want my old line to start kicking your own. ass in the head, too. Like, okay, this is how I feel about it, bro. This is how I feel about it. Okay. Miles Gary tackles Mason Rudolph after the play. Okay, Miles Gary didn't even see that broke through the ball. So it's not like he just. Well, maybe he did do it on purpose. We don't know if he did it on purpose or not. So I can understand Mason Rudolph being a little frustrated. I don't even know what his. I mean, people say he was trying to take his helmet off, but it's like, it is, he was doing a terrible job at that, bro. I don't know what he was tucking at his head for, bro. It really looked like he was just trying to piss Miles Garrett off, bro. I and it worked. Miles Garrett stands up. He snatches his helmet off, bro. At that point, 
if I'm Mason Rudolph, okay, at the same time, bro, you got my helmet, bro. Everybody's saying, like, why didn't you back up? Bro, you got my helmet, bro. Yeah. And you walking off with it. And, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And at the end of the day, we playing football. I can't be no bitch. I'm just let you take my helmet, bro. Like, I mean, I'm going to run up too. But at the same time, I'm going to know that it can go left. Now, in Miles Garrett's shoes, bro, this is why I'm saying about Miles Garrett, bro. You're the same size as a minivan. You drop mm -hmm. that helmet, punch him in the face, and this is this is a non. We're not even talking about this no more, bro. It happens. Or or maybe we talking about you as, in a good way, but not everybody. Not for now. Every time something bad happens on the field, they gonna show the highlights of you swinging your helmet and hitting bro in the head. Yeah, and and, and that, that's the thing, bro. Like you already played for a good brand. And your quarterback has been under so much fire. Like, and not to mention, head coach has been under so much they're fire. trying to protect people's heads. Yeah. They're trying to protect the quarterbacks. quarterbacks. And you just fucked it all up with that one. And then you black, so that's just another one. And, he's a, and he's a way smaller white guy. And, and smaller. I'm not even trying to say, like, it should be like that, but it but is it like is. that. It's going to be so like you that. Gotta, and there's kids out there. Is you yeah. on national television. It's all bad, bro. So, yeah. I mean, I understand. And football is nasty. Yeah. And it's disrespectful, it's and it's physical, and it's dirty, and it's for grown men. It's not, and it is what it is out there. But at the same time, I don't really. That's not really football. Like said, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unspoken rule, bro. Like I feel like, like the niggas just know that that's just never green. Yeah, and I've like, seen, I've seen football, I've seen football fights get out of hand like that. But, yeah, but no, niggas but like, it don't go without punishment. It's not like yeah. you just brush that off as. I mean, usually people get kicked off the team, suspended. Whatever, but you just can't be swinging a helmet. Yeah. I remember when I first got the PV, the coach would be like, "Y'all, if y'all get into a fight, nobody hit each other in the face. When the helmet come off, the fight's over." I mean, of course, ain't nobody really listening to the rules when you fight, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's rules to yeah. it. It yeah. might look yeah. like it ain't no rules, but the coach is actually telling you if you're gonna get into it with somebody, the helmet come off, the fight's over, bro. I mean, it is what it is. Because it's really not a fight when you, when you got the helmet on. You just really just slapping the nigga in. I mean, yeah, it's wrong. just letting that you just out. slap the shit out of me. And that feel good. And that feel good. That's, that's the part about football people oh God. forget. People oh God. forget when you, and you don't have no responsibility in this place, so you just gonna whoop somebody ass, yeah, bro. You yeah. pissed off for yeah. whatever reason. You, you biting your, 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 uh, your mouth feet. You, you biting hard and shit. You just, you just tight, bro. Tearing pieces of that You tight, bro. <laughs> You finna whoop somebody ass this play. You just mad as hell. Yeah, I love so them yeah. plays. I'm the best. Cause you can, they help you get oh, shit off your chest for real. For real, for real. Because you can fool for that. Slap but at the same time, you gotta be. Here. You gotta be. You, bro, you, I understand you getting mad, Miles, and fighting, bro. But to hit him in the head with his own helmet yeah, is yeah. like, bro. That's, that's low. Now you just asking to be. Scrutinized. Yeah, bro. That's like, not even smart, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's not even smart, bro. It's not even logical, bro. He didn't hit you. He didn't even hit you, bro. He pulled at your head, but... You you realize... You no, realize, bro. Like, and this is the thing. You didn't... And everybody, like, he didn't hit him with the hard part of him. And he, he I don't even know if he knew that. Yeah, he you know didn't what I'm saying? know that. He like, know that. And, like, he turned that bitch and like, I'm just yeah, so I don't think, I don't, the corner part. I don't know if that even matters at all. It doesn't at all. Because but if he, he could have just as easily hit him with the hard part if he... But yeah. everybody was just saying, like, it's football. Don't be soft. He should be spending one game. I feel like, nah, because then, then now next time somebody get in a the fight, they're going to hit somebody in the head with him. And it's yeah, not going to stop it until somebody. Hard on for that one. And it's not going to stop until somebody get their ass knocked out with a helmet. Because in real life, real life, if he would have hit with the hard part of the helmet, he'd be like, they'd probably kill him. Like he could have done brain damage enough. Yeah, but like routine. Max Kellerman say, I mean, baseball, they throwing 100 mile an hour fastballs at your head. But it can cause the same type of internal. Like it might not seem as bad on the surface, but it can cause some real bad. Yeah, it can. But at the same time, damage. football is. But a football. The helmet. Guy, the thing about it is, the helmet is there to protect your head. To, so to get your shit snatched off and then hit in the head with it is no, just. No, no, that's way different. It's nuts to it's me. It's really right, nuts, man. and it's funny. But at the end of the day, he's good, so we can laugh about it. Yeah. But if bro would have got like if you knocked out, you got hit him with the top of that motherfucking helmet. Like as hard as he's. And have you seen Miles Garrett? Man, I'm telling you, if he went in with the top of the helmet, 
And when it hit a perfect, Mason Rudolph, this motherfucking ass would have went to sleep, bro. <laughs> he would have died, bro. And for real. What bro. if he hit him like in the side of the head? Yeah. And the way he, he swung, he swung like that hoe hard, bro. Well, he swung it, bro. So if he would hit him with the top, Mason Rudolph would. He swung it with the strength of an Olympic god. No bullshit. Because that's how strong Miles Garrett is, bro. Man, he, see, he's, a, he's a D tackle, a D end. Bro, it's elite. And one of the top D ends at that. Yeah, he's definitely one top in. And that's another thing, bro. You got to know that this, that you, I mean, bro, your team is underperforming. Yeah. If anything is going good for the team, it's you. To be honest. Especially in Madden. And you go, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. You're a professional. It'd be different if this was high school. I just say, yeah. like, Let's say a high school fight and they come to sign. Like, what happened, bro? Oh, you spit in my face and you fought. Like, okay, listen, I ain't mad at you, bro. You, yeah. you spit in your face, but one, he, you just you just fought him. Two, you're not getting paid for this, bro. You just out here. The fact that you're getting paid for it yeah. and it's like, and you, you got to understand that this is bigger than you. Yeah, you, yeah, you a and face you, of the team. And, the and, you, and you holding up the opportunity from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, I mean... I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is you you doing something that millions of people would love to do is what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's, it's like, take advantage of that, bro. Don't be out there. Just think, bro. I, don't even get too caught up into it. But he be trying to be too much of a tough guy. Like Miles, bro. That's not you, bro. Look what happens when you try to be tough. That's what be happening, bro. You get these big soft niggas mm -hmm. who try to prove they tough so bad and they end up hurting somebody, bro. <laughs> That's what Cause they get bullied for being soft. Big Tim Lanier. You remember Tim Lanier? Remember he threw Quindasia around? Yeah, yeah, I remember this shit, dude. Yeah, why, why he do that? Because we always like Tim, you so soft, bro. We so when did. he finally get a hold of somebody small, we did. they ass is grass, bro. We did. I fought that nigga. Tim? Yeah, I know you remember that fucking fight, nigga. Hold on. <laughs> How the fight go, bro? Break it down. <laughs> Break it down one time for the pod, bro. Bro, you know, you, you remember this. Shit. Break down the fight, bro. Oh, you know, you be like, Break you know, down you know, the squabble. Bro, okay, bro. So, boom. You remember how we had a side seat at lunch and shit? True. You know what I'm saying? Man, nigga, I was walking out, and I had a specific spot where I always sat, man. And that man, this nigga Tim sending my shit, so I'm Alright, whatever. Well, first I got there. First. I sat there first. Yeah, and you had your like. I had, yeah, hey, and so my was there, there, bro. He I slid it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went up to get some food. I came yeah. back, and he was sitting there. Oh, Alright, whatever. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stress about it. When he get up, I'm saying I'm taking my seat back, and that's what I'm got. So nigga, so he got up, and I'm sitting right back in my originally already seated spot, nigga. And he come over here like, nigga, move. And I'm like, what is nigga still like? Like, I'm like. Like, nigga, move. Nigga, no. Nigga, and pause the story. <laughs> and this is the moment Cam knew he fucked up. I didn't know. Because Tim did. slapped Cam in the back of the head <laughs> with the strip that Miles Garrett swung that helmet with. No bullshit. And man. Tim and Miles Garrett was about the same size. And we was in like seventh grade. Eight. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Because I, I remember because I was trying so to. So all I remember is school, Cam man. had dreads about the same length he has now. <laughs> And them hoes was all just flying through the cafeteria. <laughs> Cameron stands up. He swings two of them, I believe. <laughs> Tim goes Hulk mode. And everybody start holding him back. And he throwing teachers around. And Miss DeGregorio. What? Miss DeGregorio <laughs> grabs Tim. And Tim is like 6'8", 350. He just slapped five from Cam ass five seconds ago. And this small white woman is holding him <laughs> by his left leg. It's just a crazy scene. Mm -hmm. One of the story is, it wasn't much of a fight. It was more like a look. Tim slapped Cam. Cam got up so on twice. I didn't see no connections. Please, I, I didn't see no connections. Please, please. I saw Cam swing twice. It was a blur. It was a lot of commotion. I caught the game. And then and then the fight was over. So I mean if that's a fight. I caught the I game. guess it's a it's a they got into it. They beefed real quick. A fight would be Tim uh not Tim. 
The same thing happened with Timmy and Corey. That's crazy, bro. Timmy used to always try to take niggas seats because he's because he's so big, bro. Cause, Cause Tim used to want to like sit next to us and shit, bro. So bad. Yeah. Like, even if everybody like Tim move. <laughs> Like that's why, be like no. That's why I'm like that's why he really pissed me off that day, bro. Come Tim, what, what the what are you doing, nigga? We ain't even like you that much. Like, like bro, just bro, you ain't even have a sign of seats with us, bro. Like you just wanna sit here, nigga. Like we actually for real life have to sit here and we got in trouble, nigga. Like, like one time I was slapped by some Tim mm-hmm. outside the track uh football. I don't know what we was coming from doing some athletic period. And we slap by and I'm nervous because you know, Tim's a big nigga, like <laughs> He slapped you. You gonna feel it. You gonna feel it. So like I did. How many what is the move? So I put my head down. I couldn't fight. I put my head down and just swing like overhand right. <laughs> Ate his shit up with that hoe too. Ended the ended the slap box. Nigga. You know you won with listen, slap boxing, you can slap the shit out of a nigga and make them quit. Bro. No bullshit, no bullshit. I seen um you quite doing that shit to Andre. <laughs> Andre was running from Duquay at the park, bro. Man, Duquay just swung it like a little left and hit his ass in the eye. So I'm like, I think he poked my nigga in the eye, bro. The fight instantly over. Bro. The fight is over, bro. You can do it. If you really catch a nigga one of them hoes, like, oh, all right, bro. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, for real, slap boxing is dangerous, yeah. though. <laughs> and, and, it, and it used to be a way of life, though. If you no, couldn't slap boxing, you. Yeah. Like, you, do you even go here, bro? I can like, run you out of here. I like, hey, man, if you could slap box, you was a hoe. Just automatic. You could be cool as a fan, bro. You was just a hoe ass nigga if you couldn't do anything, had that, bro. Like, you just, you was just on your ass constantly. Yeah, and we was just those fucking evil ass, little bad ass, little kids that go instigate. Because we ain't gonna fuck. Everything. Like, we instigate everything because we'll fight both parties. Yeah. That's why. We'll fight both of you niggas. Bro. We don't care. And y'all can be our niggas. Oh, God. <laughs> We don't give a fuck. Like, we'll fight both niggas involved, separate or together. You know what I'm saying? We just like. And then come up to school <laughs> next, the next day, and I'll stand in a circle. Oh, God. It was my life. And then, if, no, don't lose. <laughs> don't even get such a touch on me. I, for the rest of the year. <laughs> Every time, bro, I ain't. What's in that? Stop talking to me like that. <laughs> I ain't. Oh, boy. And then it got worse with the summer grade, bro. But yeah, you'll never understand. Mm-hmm. Listen. <laughs> You um, you think Kyle Kaepernick will get on the team? I do. I think he's on the team. Let me break down the story. Colin Kaepernick had a workout Saturday. Twenty five teams was supposed to be there. Yeah, I know the Eagles was there. I know Jerry Jones said he ain't going. What not? Well, they 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 team send like somebody. They don't... And Jerry said he ain't sending nobody over there. I mean, Jerry I mean, said he he like his quarterbacks. I mean, he do. So anyway, twenty five teams are supposed to be there in uh, the Falcons Stadium. Kyle Kaepernick moved the arenas. Everybody's making a big fuss about that. How you feel? Um, personally, I don't care because he's not going to start for anybody. And even if he does, I mean, I don't. Expect I mean, he could come in and start right now. I think two teams off the top of my head he could start outside of Miami and, then, and the rest and, and the, maybe the Bengals. And the Bears, what do you mean? All right. That's four teams you just named, bro. That's, but, but, that's but, a starting but, NFL quarterback. But the thing about it is, I don't think the Bears, I think the Bears have real life, like, I mean, maybe the Bears. Nah, maybe. bro, they know Mitch sucks. Yeah, Mitch, Mitch is trash, bro. So I feel like they... Tampa? They, nah, I think they believe in Jameis in Tampa, bro. Not no more. No, they They're going to get rid of Jameis. Man, Mark my word, Jameis is not going to get paid. They don't get a new coach before they get rid of Jameis. I think they get a new coach now. Yeah, and they not getting, bro, Jameis is finna get shipped out of there, bro. Mark my words. I'm telling you. But the thing about it is, Cam Newton is still, is finna be a free agent, bro. So, okay. so Chicago gonna take Cam before they take Collins. And I don't think Collins is gonna come in there and make a like, gigantic difference on the team. Yeah, I don't think so neither, you know but at I mean? the same time, he don't need to. He just need to get in the league. Like Melo. Melo can come in the league and not even play. Everybody just like, you're thing, supposed to be in the league, though. But the thing about it is he played quarterback. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a different type of importance, bro. Like, but he was, I mean, hey. Yeah, bro. For him to be a franchise quarterback, he ain't played the league in how long? Like, the league has changed so much. Who said the, he was a franchise quarterback? I mean, but if a team bring him in, you bring him in for that reason, or would you? No. So you don't bring him in to be a backup. But he got too much publicity to, to, be, a, to be not even playing. Like, he got too much around his name for him to just not even be playing. 
No, that's, that that was my whole reason why he hadn't been signed all these all these months. Anyway. Now listen, Kyle Kaepernick is not no franchise quarterback no more. Period. He's not. How old is he? Oh yeah. He's not even. Yeah. So, so he's not like he's no. He ain't like that. he's good. Yeah. But he was on, bro. He was. He was the year that he started, the year that he, he loaded team. No, he was good that time. He was talking team. about he declined and leading up into um, he him leaving the NFL. He was he wasn't even starting at the beginning of that year. He ain't start to like halfway through that and, season. And, and that's what I'm trying to tell people. Oh, they they black blackballing or whatever. I'm like, yeah, that's part of it. But he's not worth a backup. Like all the publicity that you have, the the, the all of the shit you have, you're not even gonna play, bro. Like you're gonna be on a bench and you have un, all this under. Yeah, but then, you, but then at the same time, Nathan player. Peterman was the starting quarterback. Well, not a lot, a lot. He was the backup quarterback last year. No, didn't he start a few games? Nathan Peterman. Yeah, yeah. for the Bills. I don't know. I think he started some games, bro. And 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 then Josh Allen came in and way you know they they six and two I think or six and three something like that. But I feel like this Tyler Kaepernick. I just feel like I want to see you in the league. I don't give a damn what happens. I hope somebody. I, mean, I, you don't, I don't even care if you don't play because I don't honestly think no, bro. I don't see Colin Kaepernick as a starting quarterback. Bro. I mean, I see him as better than some of these starting quarterbacks, but I'm not seeing no team. But how do you know? Though? How do you know though? Because I really, like the thing with Mr. Brisky is he going to bring so much more to the Bears offense that Mitch already doesn't bring. Yes. You know what I'm saying to fourth. For, they went 12 4 last year, bro. Mitch sucks, though. But they went 12 4 last year, bro. Oh, my God. Like, that means something, at least to Mitch, Bears fans. Mitch is terrible. So it's like, all right, is, is Kyle going to come in there and at least get them to the playoffs? No. So what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, no quarterback got to learn a brand new offense in the middle of the season. And, bro, no. But then you got to remember this, too. Drew Brees is 40. Um. Tom Brady's forty something. Well, what's, 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 what's your point? It's going to be a turnover in the league of new quarterbacks. But those franchises are going to look into college for new quarterbacks. They're not going to. Look I'm just them. saying it's a space for quarterbacks coming up. Yeah, but, right now. But that but that's a problem for Kaepernick to me because they know what they're going to get with Colin Kaepernick. They don't know what they're going to get with Trevor Lawrence and Tua and all the other niggas that's going to come. Tua up. might be done, bro. Yeah, I seen something that was like he had the same he had injury as Bo Jackson. He had dislocated hip. Yeah, but I saw it was way worse than that. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just dislocated hip. But I saw it was something he did something that messed his hip up. If he didn't have surgery by that night, he could die from like a blood clot or something. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, football series, bro. I'm saying because that, that's the thing with Malik Jackson. Malik Jackson got an injury that I never fucking heard of. That apparently he's only supposed to get from industrial sites or some shit like that. Listen, the only Jackson I speak of is Lamar. Like, yeah, and in the words of my 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 bro Terry Dwayne, he is an angel. Uh, I, he moves I, like an angel. I, I feel bad, bro, because I had an argument with a nigga. And I know two, you went hard about eight years years ago. Two years ago, bro. And I apologize. Apologize. Get your apology out, bro. If you ever see this video, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because you a nigga that stay in Waco. I am sorry, my nigga. <laughs> I still, but look, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this, though. Let me, let me say this, though. 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 The facts that I was saying was, at that time, facts. Because okay. we was arguing that he was saying that Lamar Jackson is better than Deshaun Watson. At the time. At the time. And Lamar Jackson was in college at the time. And Deshaun was in the league? Well, this, 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 this was not in the league. He was on the Super Bowl. So this was his rookie this, year. Deshaun Watson's rookie year. Or, no, no, no. no, no. He, he had already been hurt, though. Oh, but so he, he had been on that little tear. He was leading the league touchdowns. He tore the field. Yeah. So he was like, Lamar Jackson, uh, Deshaun Jackson can't hold Lamar Jackson. That's Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Watson can't hold Lamar Jackson. Josh And I'm like, bro. Deshaun Washington is in the NFL already. Lamar Jackson could be better than him once he get there. But right now, that is not a valid argument, bro. Deshaun Washington got into the league and was, was on his way to being a rookie of the year. Probably MVP that season if he didn't tear his ACL, bro. And he tore that practice at, at, at that, bro. Doing a handoff for real. You know what I'm saying? That was some dumb shit. So, at the time, I was like, fuck no. And today... <laughs> With the Ravens putting forty one on the Texans, and, and just what Lamar Jackson with four touchdowns, four TDs, 
two hundred some yards. I mean, the nigga yeah, rushing touchdown had two perfect passing rating games this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just said the first one was against the Dolphins, but he did it again. And, like, and he did that spin move. He blew the Patriots out. I mean, no, he didn't blow them out. He, he beat them. Up. He he he, he kind of he blew Houston out. out. The nigga was losing seventeen to zero at halftime of that game. So. Oh, it's not a blowout. That's but it, in the for the Patriots standards, bro. But you, the Patriots standards, that's it's like a, blowout, a bro. close game. Them niggas gonna win. Nigga, no, the, the game they played today was a close game. I lost. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like how my quarterback played today, and I don't really want to talk about that shit. Bro, Carson Wentz ain't look black in years, bro. I'm gonna take his black card away. Bro. Uh, no, no, no. The thing about it is, bro, we we haven't had a healthy team literally. No, the thing about it is, Nick Foles is better than him. That's not true. I hate to tell you, bro. Bro, you got to think about that team that year, bro. First of all, I ain't talking about that year. I'm talking about right now today. He's not though. Right now today, yes he is, bro. Yes he is. Nick Foles hasn't played in how many? He played today. Did he win today? Oh, Jaguars suck. Y'all lost today, so don't even make it seem like that. Jaguars, Jaguars don't suck. That's the whole reason they bought Nick Foles. They won the AFC Championship two years ago. Two years ago, <laughs> what happened to their best player? They lost them. Who? Jalen Ramsey? Was that not their best player? They just lost him a few weeks ago, bro. That's why they suck. They, bro, they was, they was sorry with him. Like, what do you mean? No, they wasn't. They was definitely sorry with him. They them, was man. falling off. Nigga. When all of them games that guarded Rich you and she was playing, them niggas were still losing, bro. Yeah, we saw them play the Texans and they lost. Niggas the Jaguars like, lost today to the Colts. Mm-hmm. But 13 to 33. To, yeah. Back to Lamar Jackson, the thing, the only, the only, my only thing with him is, and I'm not saying that he can't throw, because he actually really can't throw the football. I just want him to focus on that more. Like, you know. All right, let me burst your bubble. Let me tell you why I don't agree with you. Because as a. NFL quarterback, the last thing I want you to do is what you're not good at. But no, no, no. I, I understand what you're saying, and that's why I said today on Twitter, like, enjoy what he's doing right now while he can still do it. Because when he turned 30, 33, 34, he still got to lead a team, and he ain't running no four twos and, and evading niggas no more, and he got to lean on, the, on his arm. It happens all the time. It happened to Mike Vick. It happened to Donovan McNabb. It, it happened to Nigga, it had happened to Robert Griffin and Colin Kaepernick while they're not in the league no more. And we saw what they was doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, Robert Griffin got hurt his, like, rookie year. Second of all, he's in the league. He's Lamar Jackson's backup. Third exactly. of all. Exactly. Bro. Third of all, Colin Kaepernick should be in the league. He got black ball. Keep going. But he, but neither one of these things is starting and, or ever played a... In, yeah, but don't know. act like Cam Newton didn't put on or Russell Wilson ain't out here. But they can throw and, the football, though. Lamar can throw the football. And he can. And, I, and he I can throw it just about just as good as Cam. Yeah, I, I, would, I would give you that. And but Russell. Russell Wilson can be real life throw the football. I like Future more than that nigga. I mean, same. But I'm same, not taking it away from his ability to play quarterback. Yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, but, but like, <laughs> I'm still hating on you, Russell, because you. But that nigga cold, bro. That's I'm not sorry. your son, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Russell That's Russell not Wilson. your son, bro. But Russell's the off the field. Stop trying, to, he be on. stop trying to throw him touchdowns and shit when y'all at home in the beautiful backyard of y'all. Man, look. You no. Know, all of the Dirty you, Sprite. Dorky shit that Russell be on. That nigga, I just fuck your bitch. It's a Gucci flip. That like, nigga is cold, bro. That's, that's your daddy. Nigga, Desi say, Scoop! <laughs> that's what my nigga feels <laughs> lame, man. <laughs> and nigga, hey. free man. <laughs> Desi is stupid, no, bro. Is hilarious, bro. He gotta be top three funniest niggas. On I the think he's number one, bro. No bullshit. But now Lamar Jackson, bro. Big shout outs to Lamar Jackson, bro. For he sure. as good as he was in college. He, he for better. some reason looked even better. Look better. But yeah. maybe not. Maybe just because he's going against more comp- better competition, so and we didn't better, expect. Better. His game yeah. to translate that beautifully into yeah. the NFL. I knew he was gonna be good in the NFL. Yeah. Because he's good, bro, and he's been good his whole well, life. I, so you can't tell me that he's gonna be good his whole life and all of a sudden he can't be good. But I didn't think that it was gonna be like this. I didn't think it was gonna be like this. Yeah. But yeah. looking back on it, we should have thought it we should have known. I mean, but the thing about it is, bro, we see it a lot in college. Niggas do this type of shit. Not not a lot, really. Not not, not to the scale of Lamar, because Lamar was scoring like seven, eight touchdowns. Lamar Lamar won the Heisman. Yeah. Came back the next year and had a better season. You know what I'm saying? And so, didn't even win the Heisman again. So I mean We don't I see that often. I didn't I but the, but he got like I said, and, and this is always the thing with quarterbacks. 
He got with the right coach, bro. Sure did. Like he got with the Look who he surrounded him with. Yeah, because he because he got like you said, he got Robert Griffin back there. He got Mark Ingram back there. He got a like real life veterans who've been in the league, all type of shit to be around. He got a good offensive line and a hell of a defense. And so, he's going to get playmakers. Yeah, Marcus and he got, he got receivers that make plays, and it works, bro. He got tight ends that can catch and block and shit. Then his defense is is great, so he can play that type of offense and, you know what I'm saying, run the ball and just punch motherfuckers in the mouth. Defense, and that you know read I'm option is disgusting. Yeah, it's legal. Listen, it's legal. that's what you have to do, coaches. It's a new Today's a new day. The same way everybody talk about the NBA is evolving and yeah. – which makes players like Trey Young. Yeah. We wouldn't have seen no Trey Young yeah. in the nineties. In the two thousands. So it's like his whole skill set wouldn't even have been valuable back then. So it we got this new wave of It would have been valuable if niggas would didn't know how to use it back then. So it yeah. wouldn't have been valuable. Well, yeah. If know, they don't know how to use it, if like, I don't know what gold is, I'm not valuing it. Yeah, because Larry, because Larry Bird, he was undervalued, he was underused. Exactly. It, well, I, you know what I'm saying? Was he underused or was he just not that cold? Anyway, I mean, um, you, can, you can definitely make the argument he's underused. He's only taking one, one three pointer a game back then. But how you know yeah. he would have been so great if he was taking five, six, seven of them, twenty that's of them? That's fair. James that's fair. shot twenty two free three pointers the other night. He shot forty one shots. That's crazy. Last night. You know what I'm saying? And scored forty nine. Man. Which I'm not mad because we won. Oh, it was cool. 49 and we won. But, but yeah, Lamar Jackson, uh, that's my only thing is that if he, can, if he can continue to grow as a passer, bro, because all of that that you do right now, and it's a lot of your game, the running, that's going to slow down to a point. I'm not going to say it's going to stop because he's really that fast. And it's going to slow down to the point where linebackers are going to be able to keep up with Yeah, but but why? But fuck that. Who cares? I don't give a but, damn but, about But they, Stop he, telling me about next year and in five years and shit. What about uh, Sunday? What, you gonna, think, what think, are you going to do for him Sunday? I think they can, they can, run, they can run all into Super Bowl with this offense, bro. No me too. Shit. That's what I, I'm worried about. Everybody you know talking saying? about, so, oh, but he won't be able to do this forever. Yeah, but he can do this Sunday yeah. against your favorite team. So what you gonna I do? Mean, I think they're gonna let the Super Bowl win. No bullshit. And I wouldn't be surprised. I if said it today. Win. Like I because said, team like I said on Twitter, they're that team in the league. Everybody know the team in the league. They got the coldest nigga in the yeah. league at oh, quarterback. Yeah, and and he just the run the ball play. every play him and then win. The left, him to the right. And yeah, they yeah, stay yeah. winning. Yeah, yeah, stay that's that's the Ravens, bro. And then they yeah. got the running back who's like sleepy good. You forget how good he is because the quarterback's so good. And then they give to him. And they got the fastest receiver in the league. And he don't never say nothing. He just score touchdowns. Oh, man. And they got the De'Ale Thomas doing kick returns, and we know how he is. And then on defense, they and on defense they got Earl, the best secondary in the league. If you really want to look at their Marcus, Marcus, Marcus was clamping today. Marcus, Marcus Peters, did you watch the game? I ain't seen. I love the work. I don't get off. Bro, Marcus Peters was clamping today. Marcus Peters really my own one. But Lamar like, makes me proud, bro. And then the way he do it humbly. Yeah. He ain't. He respectful and all. He that. ain't doing all the like, hoopla. White, white, white people can't hate on him. You can't even hate on him, bro. He, the nigga don't even talk good, and you still Mike, gotta love him. Mike Vick, they was hating on Mike Vick when he was coming to the league doing all shit. But as it's good as Lamar is, is, y'all gotta watch out, bro, because this is when they start hoeing niggas. When they become greater than when when niggas become better than some shit we've seen before, they try to hoe you, bro. Well, yeah. That's what yeah. happens. Mike Vick was like, they was like, this nigga's too cold, bro. What is his cousin doing? And next thing you know, they locked his ass up. Yeah, you know, Mark was smoking for real. Yeah, I'm telling you. So you better watch out. But I don't know. I feel like Lamar. Lamar, Lamar, Lamar like white women. You know. I don't know. Lamar, stay never... away from white women, please. Lamar Jackson now from... is not the time. La- Lamar Jackson from the real life, real life hood, though, bro. So Man, like, he went to Louisville, bro. That's still that's facts. That's facts. But he from the same hood as Kodak Black. <laughs> Like Kodak, he's a suburban dude. He's a suburban kid. <laughs> <laughs> suburban kid now. Nah. I have a lot of dudes no more. I'm gonna get on this, bro. I'm gonna say I don't know. Free one nigga Kodak, bro. Bro, free Kodak. What do you get about? Uh, it's easy. You looking at three, three more years, man. Three years and ten months. That's, That's a long time, bro. Everybody like, oh, it's just three years and ten months. Woo. Okay, go in your room and go in the closet and turn light off. For three years and ten months. You ain't even know where you're doing. Like, it's it's, a, it's a, but that but that's that, 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 my analogy that, though. I mean, yeah. but because you can come out and eat, but go back in there 
and sit down. Oh, you you can hoop for an hour. Yeah. Once Come out week. here. <laughs> yeah, but I was, but also I was um, on Twitter the other day, and it was like, yeah, I remember I was in my jail cell and I was watching the something documentary and blah blah blah. How the hell you see you watching the documentary? You know that they get off having shit now, not that. But it was Meek Mill tweeting that, so. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The meal wasn't even in jail. He was in an apartment like this. They couldn't leave him. Man, it's some niggas that get real like drank in jail, like served. They get in bro, you be seeing them pictures? Them niggas be in there, bro. It's his <laughs> video. Mean, and they was all in there watching porn. They had porn on the big screen. It was like 12 niggas gathered around sitting down in chairs watching like a movie. Oh, hell, These niggas are sick. I seen videos. They got they got big twelve Popeyes chicken sandwiches. Popeyes chicken sandwiches. They yeah. smoking blunts. Smoking weed they them. smoking cigarettes. I seen they one. Had, I seen they one. They cups. had bay room. They had four flat screens in that motherfucker, and they had PlayStation. PlayStation. These niggas on the two K. Playing Madden. Niggas in the house dancing. What? Some girl was tweeting like, "Oh my god, Jen looks so fun." Nah, but nah. Don't let that shit fool y'all. Do not let that shit fool you. You know who look like they having the most fun? <laughs> Niggas who is bored as hell. Do not let that shit fool y'all. Jail Niggas gonna no find something to do. Jail ain't fun. What's jail is no ain't shit fun about jail. Every single one of them niggas wanna come home. Like y'all looking at this shit, laughing, talking about man, this shit look no. Cause once them cameras go off and them niggas lay down in their beds, they ain't that old mad that But you bitch. are in jail, nigga. You, you finna get woken jail. up. You don't wake up. You don't wake up on your own. Everybody do. Everybody tell you what to do in that. You finna get says. woken up and get told you can't shower today. Nigga, like no. Grown ass man. That's what I'm saying. That's how you know jail is crazy. Cause I was just I was watching the Boosie interview and he was talking about how, like how they used to act in jail and she used to go down and Boosie used to throw shit on people and stuff like that. This is a grown man with kids, <laughs> like throwing shit on people. Imagine your daddy throwing shit on people. Like you can't even imagine niggas but acting like that. But in jail, it's, it's, they, it's, you it's, like a kid, bro. This shit is different in there. You yeah, you like a kid, bro. In that you in there throwing and he, shit? And he in a pen because niggas, niggas, niggas be forgetting that county jail is far different from the penitentiary, bro. Far, far different. Far fucking different, nigga. This you, ain't, um, like, nigga, no. Because niggas be talking about, you, yeah, you went to county, but nigga, all right, cool. You go to that pen, that's a whole nother ballgame. Because niggas in that hole with nothing to lose. Facts. Niggas in the county with, with petty bullshit. A lot of them niggas in the hole behind females. And we'll get to that later. But well, let's get to it right now. We're 55 <laughs> minutes, nigga. Let's get to it. Yeah. Um, um, what you mean they ain't there behind females? What, you, what you mean by that? A lot of niggas go to jail behind women, bro. Well, first of all, a lot of niggas do most of the shit they do behind women. And that's just period. From the niggas hustle because of women. Niggas wash their ass because of women. <laughs> oh, niggas no. brush their teeth niggas because of women. Live because of no, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> niggas uh, because wash their clothes I was, because I was of women. I work talking about this shit the other day, and I was like, we honestly, we do need the hoes because. Yeah, not, what do you mean? Not, not the time hoes, but you know, like, like when they can't. Yeah, like most of the time you bitches can dump their niggas first. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But we do need them because niggas wouldn't do nothing. If there was no women on the world, what would niggas do? We wouldn't do shit. Well, look at niggas in jail. What do they do? Each exactly. Other. It's a perfect example. Niggas in jail is what life pretty much would be like. It would be a, a, a planet filled with niggas trying to prove they the top dog. You know Dirty, I mean? funky niggas. Dirty, nigga, funky I smell niggas. way worse than you. Nigga, you can't be over here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, like you, nigga, you smell good. Nigga, you better go down the block. The fuck them yeah. fresh ass niggas over yeah, there. Yeah, with them clean clothes ass niggas over there. But like, for real, bro, I, every time I went in there, I hated niggas. It made, jail would make you hate a nigga. Niggas are dirty because you got to think about it. Okay, if there's no women... If niggas, most niggas' daddies wasn't even there. No. So who was raising these little niggas? They on their own. Yeah. So now these little niggas is raising themselves. But what do you know about little boys? They're active, they bad, they lie, and they don't like to bang. Yeah, like, like. Yeah. Woo! So you got a world of active, bad, lying ass, dirty we, niggas we, we need that's them, coming man. up. You know, we need but at the same time, time, you need them. Y'all know that shit. What we doing here? Well, we knew that. That's, that's, that's facts. Because. <laughs> Nigga. Right. I think listen, <laughs> I honestly think, okay, you know how they be talking about Eve in the in the Garden of Eden. You know they say that the forbidden fruit was a pomegranate? I read that somewhere. A pomegranate. And the, the Bible started I, I, all this I, shit. I was a pomegranate. 
Everybody thinks it's an apple. The Bible never specifies. Yeah, it never say it was an apple. That it bro. was an apple. People just everybody assume just swear to God because of the fact apple. that it comes from a tree that, that it is an apple. apple. But the Bible never specifies. It I read apple. somewhere that some Jewish people think it was a pomegranate, which I mean, it kind of makes me mad because pomegranate is not even slap. Anyway, I, I mean, I, facts. I feel like the forbidden fruits have been something so delicious, right? And I also feel like that it's something that don't grow no more. Because it should have been a one of one tree. Like, it shouldn't have been a. a, a yeah, a but you gotta tree. think. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't wanna get in too much on it, but I don't think that all the stories are accurate. But anyway, um, what was I talking about? Women. Women. What about them? That they're they not sweet, but they are sweet. Just be needed. I was gonna say something. Damn, bro, we start to, what we, I don't even know what we started talking about to throw me off what we was talking about. The, the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden. Oh, this is my point. Mm-hmm. So women, you know how they say Eve ate the fruit and it's like started all the bad shit? Yeah. She broke my nigga heart and now niggas are savage forever. What you mean? It all started with Eve doing what she did and it started the cycle. And then bro did some whole shit and then she did some whole shit and then... Now, Cam, we're stuck in that cycle still to this day. Women do some old shit, then niggas do some old shit, then she do some old shit, then you do some old shit so until we you, die. So you saying that basically like what came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken or the egg, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was the chicken <laughs> or whatever, whatever what the woman is. So, she strike first is my point. So we all in this because she did it first. So Bro was down here trying to be a good human. Figured it out. You know what I mean? I don't know what he was up to. I have no idea what the first human would be doing all day. But he figured it out. She want to go do some stupid shit. Leave it. Come on, bro. We could have wrote that. We could have wrote that story. It, it happens every day. And in the Bible, Adam said, told God, this woman you gave me <laughs> is going to fuck it all up. But look, but let me let me let me get my two my, my two cents on that, bro. All right. Like, first of all, um, you know what I'm saying, like, you saying that women how always on Twitter or whatever, women always talking about niggas ain't shit. True. Basically what you're saying is we not shit because y'all made us not shit. True. And a girl, if she was sitting right here, would say, Well, y'all make us crazy, so we we back though and you know, it's, it's So which one came first? But if you saying that they, they struck first. And they struck first. And, and it's in the Bible. And that's basically what I'm saying. It's in the Bible that y'all struck first. I don't disagree. You know what I'm saying? So, all and, I'm going to say is this. But what I will say be, is, <laughs> what I will say is, and where niggas still fail, is that you have to stop trusting these motherfuckers, bro. Like, you you got you to gotta stop trusting them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, Adam, Adam put his trust, and he got word, he got it from God himself. Word of mouth, literally, from God. Word of mouth? And still put his trust in the bitch, bro. Like, well, you can trust some women, but the thing about it is, you won't know if you can trust her or not. Like, like Muhammad Ali said, trust, it's a bunch of snakes running at me, but half of the snakes are, really are very nice, and the other yeah. half are venomous, and the other half want nothing but the best but, for me. I'm not going to sit there and try to figure out which snake is good. I'm just going to close the door on all the snakes. I'm but in this, in this, in this analogy, you can't close the door on all the snakes, bro, because you, you need one of them. So you just gotta let them in one at a time. Close the door real quick. And, and, and that's what we do as niggas. And then she bites your ass, you throw her out, well, grab, grab another one. Man, grab another one. That's the thing. That's what we do. As you niggas, that's do, what bro. we do. We let them in real quick. Just to see. Oh, nah, this is just it. What I do, I did it like four, five, and one. Anyway, listen. <laughs> we'll talk to y'all boys next week. Stay up TV. You did. That boy, man. That boy,